Grace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Welcome to Noonday Prayer. If you'd like to follow along with us in the Book of Common Prayer, if you have one, our service begins on page 103. Today in the church year, we are celebrating All Souls Day, or also known as All the Faithful Departed. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The psalm that is appointed for today is Psalm 130. Out of the depths have I called to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears consider well the voice of my supplication. If you, Lord, were to note what is done amiss, O Lord, who could stand? For there is forgiveness with you, therefore you shall be feared. I wait for the Lord, my soul waits for him, in his word is my hope. My soul waits for the Lord, more than a watchman for the, for the morning, more than watchman for the morning. O Israel, wait for the Lord, for with the Lord there is mercy. With him there is plenteous redemption, and he shall redeem Israel from all their sins. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. One of the scripture lessons appointed for today is from the Book of Wisdom, chapter 3, verse 1 through 9. The souls of the righteous are in the hand of God, and no torment will ever touch them. In the eyes of the foolish they seem to have died, and their departure was thought to be a disaster, and their going from us to be their destruction, but they are at peace. For though in the sight of others they were punished, their hope is full of immortality. Having been disciplined a little, they, they will receive great good. Because God tested them and found them worthy of himself. Like gold in the furnace, he tried them. And like a sacrificial burnt offering, he accepted them. In the time of their visitation, they will shine forth and will run like sparks through the stubble. They will govern nations and rule over peoples, and the Lord will reign over them forever. Those who trust in him will understand truth, and the faithful will abide with him in love. Because grace and mercy are upon his holy ones, and he watches over his elect. Here ends the reading. Today is the day that we remember all the faithful of the party. Just yesterday was All Saints Day. Now, when I was growing up, and you too, and even even now, a saint was something that we I could never attain. Could you? Um, it just didn't seem possible. It, these people are so far removed from any anything that I do. We looked at them and do look at them with reverence and as guide for our life and how to be good Christians and to serve God and serve, to serve others. But in the New Testament, the word saints really indicated the entire membership of the Christian community. And that includes you and me. It was later in the church that the distinction began to be made that saints were persons of heroic sanctity, remembered by later generations by all.
For All Souls Day, we remember those people who touched our lives personally. They may be mama and daddy. They may be grandpa, grandma. They may be brother or sister, cousin, aunt, uncle. Could be a teacher, a co-worker. Anyone that touched your life and has made it better. You know, in the Apostles' Creed, the communion of saints is mentioned. We read the Apostles' Creed, we recite the Apostles' Creed during every daily office, except for the noonday, and every baptismal liturgy that we celebrate in the Episcopal Church. The book of Hebrews, chapter 12, verses 1 and 2 refer to the great cloud of witnesses. Those are the saints and the people that have gone before us who have touched our lives. They, all of the faithful have departed. It's the reason we, the week before, or week, weeks before All Saints Day is coming up, or All Saints Sunday, we write on a piece of paper, a list, of those people we want to remember and have mentioned during the All Saints service. We also need to remember that one day our life will end on this earth and we will be part of this great cloud of witnesses. We're also already part of the communion of saints. How do you want to be remembered? What impact in a positive way have you had or will you have on those who come into your life and pass before you? It's something we all need to think about. I need to think about it. Thanks be to God. Amen. Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. And as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. O God, the Maker and Redeemer of all believers, grant to the faithful departed the unsearchable benefits of the passion of your Son, that on the day of his appearing, they may be manifested as your children. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Heavenly Father, send your Holy Spirit into our hearts to direct and rule us according to your, your will, to comfort us in all our afflictions, to defend us from all error, and to lead us into all truth. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I give to you. My own peace I leave with you. Regard not our sins, but the faith of your church, and give to us peace, the peace and unity of that heavenly city, where with the Father and the Holy Spirit you live and reign, now and forever. I ask your prayers for the church, the inspiration and inheritance of our gifts of wealth, works, and wisdom. 
We pray for Michael, our presiding bishop, Sam and Ann, our bishops, and all other ministers in the church. I ask your prayers for the world and for the leaders of the nations. May they use the plentiful, re plentiful resources they, re they steward to care for the people of the world. May we who inherit this earth be wise stewards of creation and kind caretakers of all your creatures. I ask your prayers for our neighbors and all who need or request our prayers for those who are marginalized and oppressed, those who are sick and those who are dying, for those who are lonely and isolated, for those who are suffering, and for those who sleep on our streets. I pray for all on our prayer list and the family and friends that we now name, either silently or aloud. I ask your prayers for those who have died. May they forever gather at your table of plenty, sharing their gifts with love and joy. We give thanks for those gifts, bequests, and intentions to this faith community. Provide inspiration and abundance beyond their lifetimes. May we to reach within ourselves to share our gifts for when we give out of our abundance. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you next week.